Now let's go to Abuja to join Government College Old Boys Association for their eighth annual reunion. Enjoy it. They gather every year in the best interest of their school, Government College Ugeli in Delta State. And this year, their destination was the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. <laughs> It's their 8th annual national dinner, an occasion that offers members of the association the opportunity to marry together and catch on with old times. The association, which was established in 2003 by former students of the Government College Ugeli Delta State, is aimed at raising funds to provide amenities for their alma mater. President of the association worldwide, architect Charles Majoro, led other members of the association, both from within and outside the country, to this year's annual celebration. And they had the privilege of hosting two very distinguished Nigerians, former Senate President Ken Namani as the chairman of the occasion and former permanent representative of Nigeria to the United Nations in New York, Mrs. Joy Ugu, as the guest speaker. The fact that they felt concerned about this. Is it not for us to find a collective solution to this problem? It is not isolated to the area of education. It is an all-pervasive problem of not only the Nigerian society, I'm not making any excuses for us, that we should be the way we are. It is it's a global problem, which requires global solutions. There's a Yoruba proverb that says that a stream that doesn't forget its source never goes dry. It is important that we remember the schools that we attended. And when the time comes, I'm sure to whom much is given, much is very much expected. Now that most of you have attained a position of stature, not only in Nigeria, but worldwide. We expect that you make it as a school to be digital, as the chairman, um, as the president general said, and no more analog. Typical of this annual event, all distinguished alumni are usually recognized and this year's edition wasn't different. The president of the Alumni Association says the association is always ready to support the school in the best way they can. We are the ones blazing the trail to tell people that after you've left your school, if you know you gained something from the school, to go back, no matter how many years you've left the school, to make sure the school retains the standard 
that you enjoyed instead of just going with it and be selfish. No. I've left the school, I entered the school about 60 years ago, but I'm still involved in ensuring that the school standard is kept. We contribute money, we contribute time and energy to ensure that the workers, the principal, everything is kept. Go and see the, the lawns, our grass, our fields are maintained as we want it. They look forward to this reunion every year, which amongst other things, serves as a time for the old boys to reflect on the state of the school and how the association can gear their efforts to assisting the institution in its development and growth. This association, as a matter of fact, in about some 15 years ago, the school was almost uh, going down the drain like you have seen in many other public schools in the country and uh, the infrastructure were in a total disrepair the quality of teaching was down but the old boys took it upon themselves to say look this must not be allowed to continue and since then we have been investing heavily in the school to make sure that the standard of education is sustained for us our school we saw it go through an era of dilapidation. All the structures crashed, you know, quality dropped drastically. And at some point, and uh, say over the last 10 years, the Old Boys Association have uh, taken concern and have risen to the occasion to try to see how to bring back the old glory of the school. The school means a lot to us, and so it's not the kind of thing we want to let um, die away just like that. Education is the bedrock of any society and I'm afraid to say that until we get education with integrity, professionalism with character, because they say righteousness exalts a nation and once you are not a righteous, there's no virtue, the whole point of professionalism just will not work. So it is my hope that government will dedicates its resources on between 15 to 20 percent on qualitative education. The present students are grateful to their alumni for all they have done in ensuring their environment is conducive for learning. In terms of academic sports, finance, ETC otherwise, they are trying their best to make sure that we are in a comfortable place and apart from comfortability, trying to make sure that we restore back the golden era whereby Gompe College was one of the best in West Africa and even Africa as a whole. Government College Ugeli in Delta State has churned out personalities both dead and alive. Some of them are the former PRO Chancellor of the University of Lagos, late Dickin Gamaliel Onosode, Military Governor of the former Midwest, Major General David Edgar retired, renowned author and playwright J.P. Clark, the publisher of this day newspapers Prince Nduka Obagbena, former chairman of the Nigeria Bar Association, Ulisa Bakuba, among others.